What is going on, everybody? My name is Tom Kelly. This is Clean Cut Audio, blah, 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 blah. I don't have time. It has just come to my attention that people are still using Zoom.us to record the audio for their podcasts. We need to fix this right now. Let's do it. Look, we all know that it always has been and it always will be my mission to help people have better sounding podcasts. A really common way to record a remote interview is by using Zoom. I understand that there aren't many great platforms out there that can record audio and video for local and remote guests. But here's the thing. It is the worst sounding audio I have ever heard in my life. There is a very, very simple way to make your audio sound a thousand times better with no extra software, no extra work, no time, no nothing, just easiness. Before I get into that, I want to show you this video of my friend, a colleague, Jeremy and I, we are recording this little um, client onboarding video and we recorded each of our ends locally with video and audio and then we had a zoom recording and I want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of a true local recording and then the quality of a zoom recording now to preface this we were working under best case scenarios I am hardwired into gig speed internet a lot of this, the audio and video quality is dependent on a good signal. The worse your signal is, the worse audio video connection you're going to get. So I am functioning on optimal conditions, great hardware, great internet connection. And let's hear the difference between a local recording and a Zoom recording. Let's play it now. It's really unfortunate because it's such a natural human response. Like it, it it's hard mm -hmm. for me to fight back the urge. You know, when I'm recording on Zoom, I actually mute my audio so it doesn't come through. I focus on just trying to shake my head so that my guest or the host knows that I'm listening, that I'm engaged. Mm -hmm. I think there was a bit on The Office about this of Dwight trying to act like a human, nodding his head and showing that he's listening. Because, like, it's, it's important to human nature, but it creates, for the listener, which is what the whole podcast is for, it's about the listener, it creates a distracting and less than ideal audio experience. Now, it should be very clear how unacceptable the audio quality is provided by Zoom.us. Unfortunately, it's a recommended service for many podcasters because it's easy. It is very easy to use, and there aren't many great alternatives, and that's a huge part of the problem. But we can utilize the ease of Zoom and the ease of a local recording with QuickTime with these few steps. Now, I don't recommend QuickTime as like the optimal audio recording solution. I'm recording this audio in Pro Tools. There's GarageBand. You can record in Audacity. I don't usually recommend Audacity, but you can record in there. There are a plethora of free options to record a local recording, but some of them get caught up when you're trying to do Zoom or Squadcast and something else. It's just like your computer's trying to split signal into too many different sources. Sometimes it doesn't work. So here's what we can do. Every Mac computer comes with QuickTime software installed. Command space gets your spotlight search up, type in QuickTime, and boom. It looks like nothing happened, but up here in the toolbar, we have QuickTime player. Now we're going to go to file, New audio recording, if you just want the audio screen, if you want the, the video and audio. I'm going to hit audio recording, and I'm going to get this little box here. The first thing you want to check is this little down arrow, and we're going to pick our microphone source. Now, I'm using an Apogee Ensemble, so I'm going to pick Ensemble. Quality, maximum. Why not? We should be aiming for maximum quality at all times. Now... We don't really need to hear the playback because that's going to give us a little bit of echo. And I'm just going to hit record. And it is now recording the audio coming into my computer. Now, I'm not sure if this is affected by sounds coming from your computer itself. So 
if you get a notification, if you get that ding, I'm not sure if it's going to pick that up, but just in case in this top right here, we can go to notifications and scroll up and turn do not disturb on. And that's going to make sure that no notifications come through your computer. And now you have a local signal and you can record, you can do your Zoom call, you can talk over Zoom, you can record it as a backup, but you and your guest, if possible, should be recording a local recording using at minimum QuickTime. And we can see the file size here. It's getting up there. It's going to be a pretty big file, but you want good audio. If you're really concerned about space, you could do high quality rather than maximum. But here's the easy thing. When you're done, you just hit stop. We're going to go into file, hit save or command S if you want uh, efficiency, which should always be the goal. And that's it. We're, we can now listen to this audio file. It saved it as an AIFC all right, now that the file is saved to your desktop or wherever you choose to put it, you can now import that into your editing session and you now have a rather high quality local recording that is not dependent on your internet connection, not dependent on the horrible conversion of Zoom, and it's also not dependent on your guest signal when there's crosstalk and interruptions. It's just gonna be a much better signal and a better experience for your listener. And if we are asking our listeners for 20, 30, 60, 90 minutes of their attention every single week, we owe it them to give them the best sounding show possible so that we can respect their time. It is all about respecting your listener and making it as easy as possible for them to enjoy your show. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please, please strive for better audio quality. It's not that difficult. QuickTime is so easy. Again, not recommended as your main recording device if you are recording just yourself as a solo show, but it's there and it is infinitely better than Zoom quality. Zoom is unacceptable. If you are still using it for your show, please consider getting a local recording. It's gonna make your show exponentially better sounding and it's going to boost your authority, your perceived authority, because there is actual scientific evidence now that perceived authority goes down as audio quality goes down. Sound as good as you can, make your show sound as good as you can and respect your audience's time and attention. Thank you so much for sticking around for this video. I hope this illustrates just how easy it is to get a great recording. There's no excuses to be stuck with Zoom audio quality. It's okay if you still use it, but make sure at least you are getting a local recording. Encourage your guests to do the same. Please subscribe to the channel if you really care about the audio quality of your show. I've got some shirts available for purchase online if you're a true audiophile. And make sure to ring the bell so that you don't miss a video in the future. And if you are seeing this before January 15th of 2020, I am doing a giveaway. I'm giving away an Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB and XLR microphone, along with consultations and some t-shirts. So check out cleancutaudio.com slash ATR giveaway to find out how to enter to win. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.